Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. And it's really dark and scary. Um, yeah. So, so we are, uh, we're here in a rainstorm. But, uh, but don't you worry and don't forget to hit that like button if you're enjoying the series. Uh, it's helping me out tremendously. Uh, leave comments. Always love hearing from you guys. And please, if you have not yet subscribed, slap that subscribe button for this and many more videos. Um, let's see. We all, I know I've been saying it the last few videos. I am using my Toby Eye Tracker uh, in these episodes, uh, mainly in vehicle. So if you'd like to save 5% off, use my affiliate link. Uh, when you pick up yours, it's down in the video description. Use code BRADM73 when you check out for that extra 5% off. And my eternal thanks. We're going to go and uh, sleep until 8 a.m. So it was June. I think it was July, right? So it's still July, 8 a.m. in the morning. And we've got to get the... Let's see, what do we have to get? We have to get this guy going. <clears throat> got to come over I don't really know where the I think the header is over here the corn header is right there where is the other header where is the header I don't know where it went um let's see let's kind of look around the farm cuz I am totally okay it's not up here it's not in there. Oh, really? Come on. Must be over here somewhere. Maybe? Header, header. Oh, it's way over there. Okay. Okay, watch out. Yep, here's the eye tracker. Head tra tracking my head and actually eyes too. Does a pretty good job of that. Just makes it super easy to look around. That's the that's the biggest thing. You know, a lot of people are like, "Hey, VR." And VR would be cool, pretty cool too, but at least with this, you don't have to wear anything on your head unlike some of the other tracking uh, hardware out there where you have to wear a clip or something like that on your headset or your eyeglasses or I don't know, whatever. <laughs> whatever you have to wear it on. You don't have to with the Toby Eye Tracker. Uh, yeah, so we're going to just pull up here. We're going to grab gonna grab the uh, header off the trailer here. Got our grass field growing here. We're gonna let that grow for a few uh, a few months. All right. So let's go ahead and start this. And I'm gonna. Do the headland here. Perfect. And we're going to do kind of a headland on this side as well. But I'm going to hire a worker because I want to look and see what jobs... Uh, we do have a few harvesting jobs, uh, which we'll want to use. Uh, oh, we've got a fertilizing job that's completed, so that'll bring in some extra money, so that's good. Um, so I guess we'll just uh, kind of concentrate on this for right now. Okay, there's that guy. Um, no fertilizing yet. Yeah. So 
so what I wanted to do is we've got those two trailers with rocks. All right? Oh, boy, this tractor's fast. Oh, good. He's got the swath. He's all ready to go there. So I should go get that baler and just follow the tractor. But I think one of these trailers has rocks. One or both. One of Okay, the rear trailer's got rocks. Now... No. I want to decouple that one, because I want this guy... I want to take him back to the, uh, the store. So that we can put the sides back on this trailer. Got all this canola up front here to do. And I'm gonna have to really start planning out how I want to sell my crops. And also how I want to plant the, um, the grass for the summer so we'll we'll take a look at that here in just a little bit sorry i'm trying to drive and process my thoughts at the same time the two are not mutually exclusive all right so we're just gonna yep yeah, we're gonna customize that perfect And I'll have to remember which trailer I have that's got the, um... The baler on it. Okay, here we go. See, look at all these harvesting contracts we should be able to do. Okay, now what I want to do, I want to turn this off. And hopefully, the pipe will be long enough where it'll offload over here. There we go. I <laughs> like bonking my microphone. Ten percent, five percent, and let's go. Okay, kick her into high gear again. And we'll just go straight across this time. And then we're gonna turn back up the field uh, to our left and hire the worker. 
And then what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm actually gonna wanna start baling all of this uh, straw here. Gonna keep that swath going in a straight line there. You can go ahead and retract the pipe since I don't really need it. All right, so hiring a worker. Oh, no, no, no. We're gonna have to back it up. Oh, we've got grass in there. Whoops. Well, I think when we start picking up this, when we start picking up the... Um, I think that, yeah, see how it just turned to straw? Turn on automatic drop. I'm just gonna have it turn on automatic drop. So that way, as soon as it pops out, it's just gonna kick it out. Uh-oh. And there it goes. I, I just have to remember to stop. <laughs> See if we can go across here, get all this. Wait, I'm gonna turn off automatic drop. Ah, there we go. I don't want the automatic drop on right there because I don't want it, I don't want the combine to have to come around and, um, you know, get stuck on a bale or push the bale down in the creek where it's harder for us to get. Huh, I wonder why he's turning around like that. I can't wait till we can get a new combine Honestly, I'm pretty happy with the cedar that we have. Okay, now we're going to toss out this bale. There we go. And I'm hoping to get all of our bailing done this episode. So we'll kind of see what happens here. That is so weird. I wonder why he's doing his 
little loop back like that. The deer. Okay, so we got that, got that. So we've got four bales. Uh oh. You know what we're going to do here? You know, you know, you know. We're gonna do exactly that. All right. Perfect. And then when we kick the next bale out, I'll stop and transfer back over to the John Deere and we'll move him out of the way. Well, I guess we don't really need to. But, might as well, since we're here. Now, part of me wants to go ahead and sell these bales. I think I might do that. We'll take a look at the prices here shortly. Yeah, let's look at the prices really quick. Not gonna find them there. Okay, so straw. Oh gosh. I don't remember what they were last time, but it seemed like they were like 200 and something. Um, of course, July is probably almost the worst possible time we could sell them. So let's go ahead and keep, I guess we'll keep these for now. Yeah. The dude's far. I'm going to have to uh, look and see if I need to get some water for the tomatoes and stuff. I, I don't feel like I'm making any money off of those, though. Like, I don't know when I get paid for that stuff. But I literally feel like I'm making no money. Like, if we go and look at our money, property income. Da, da, da. I don't know if production costs. I, see, I don't know. It says sold products. So we are making like 4000 a month. I just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't see when that those are coming in. When the sales of those are coming in. I just I'm not seeing it.
these are the kind of round bales that I see a lot of around the around the farms here. I don't see those big types of uh, square bales that are the size of, you know, small homes and cars. <laughs> Oh gosh, we gotta. Now, I did have some people comment that I should use a mulcher after after I pick up or after I um, get done harvesting but before I pick up my crops I don't know what that is though mulchers there we go so you've got this one five point or this one that's a little wider this one six meters they're not terribly expensive requires 200 horsepower i can i mean we can try one and just see what it does i just don't know what it's going to do uh, What does this one require? 130 horsepower. So if I do this one and lease it for a thousand bucks, maybe we'll get our thousand bucks back. Maybe we won't, I don't know. Let's go ahead and drop that off. Uh, I'm not sure which side this connects to. I feel like it's not this side, but we'll see. Nope. Ah, there we go. They need to set this one up on the lot differently. Yeah, there we go. People were saying this gives us an extra 5% crop yield. I don't know. Um, I mean, if we look at the thing here, see, I don't see anything that says mulching. Um, mulched. See, like, I don't see a requirement to mulch. All right, let's... Set his destination. I'm just going to set him up here. And it looks like... Looks like he's finished harvesting over there. And if he is, that's super good. Yeah, my beacon just turned on. Okay, so a couple things are going to happen here. Um, field 55, let's go ahead. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and accept that contract. I wanna see, well, let's see. Wait. Oh. Oh, he's at max weight. Oh. So we're only gonna have what about twenty thousand in wheat? Really? That's it. Kind of thought we'd have more, but hey. Okay, Field 55 is right across the little creek here. So let's just get this guy out to... Um, to get the, the last of the uh, wheat on this one. Or barley. No, this is wheat. Field 51, I think, was barley. Okay, where's my bale trailer? I honestly don't know where my bale trailer is. It's gotta be over at the main farm. I usually stuff my bale trailer like right back in the corner there. Where is it? I have one. I know that I have one. Wait, what? Is it way over here? No, that's the sprayer over there. Where is it? Um, bale loaders, yep. Where is my bale loader? Oh, it's right there. Everybody's like, Brad, you're looking at the wrong place. And boy, were you right. All right, I'm going to head, I'm going to drive this guy over to field 55 here. Let's uh, bring the pipe in at least. Boy, this, this uh, harvester has definitely seen better days. But I want to get him on task here on this job. Let's 
So we're going to be uh, harvesting this field here. Okay, worker is hired. Uh, wait, wait. Yeah, let's go get the bale picker-upper thingy do bobber uh, because I want to get the bales on this side of the field picked up so that we can start mulching. And um, I think we have to mulch, then cultivate, then seed. So uh, we got a lot to do with that field. And not a got a lot to do and not enough tractors to do it. Just pretend I didn't sing. It's probably better for everybody that way. What? What? Wait. I thought that was a... I'm like, I kind of need a... A front weight. And there's a front weight stuck underneath this trailer. That was weird. All right, so we'll cross the creek and we'll put the bale lifter arm down, whatever that is called. The belifter arm. It's not what it's called, not at all. I can't even see it. Okay. That actually looks like a neat looking piece of equipment. Okay, let's see what happens here. Let's go ahead and turn it. I don't even think we have to turn it on. I think we just like lay it down. Wait, I think what this might do, this might actually give us some, uh, like an extra level of fertilization. I think that's what the mulcher might, might actually do. Cause that's kind of what mulch does is it helps fertilize bushes and trees and things like that that you put it around. Um, so I'm going to assume that's probably what it does. But let's get this f uh, field finished. And then we can go grab the cultivator. I wonder if we can pick up 
I wonder if you can pick up the straw. I don't think we can. I think I actually tried to do that before and it would not let us pick up the straw, which is very unfortunate. Oh, that would have totally destroyed that back of that baler. Hopefully we can get one more bale out of this and, and we can kind of move the baler out of the way and then I can take the trailer over there to offload that other combine. Yeah, we should get one more bale. And I'm not gonna worry about the rest of this. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to. No, no, no. How do I? Oh, abort unloading. Yes, that is what I want to do. <laughs> uh, is it B? I guess I'm gonna have to detach. I don't know why it's not letting me fold up the arm there. I do kind of want to come over here with the bail roller just to see if I can pick up this uh, stuff, but I don't think I can. I'm like 99.70,000% sure I can. Um, and when this doesn't work, well, you know, We'll move on to uh, cultivating field uh, 40, was that 47 and 48? Mm. Yeah, it's definitely on. That's definitely out. And that definitely does not work. Okay. I knew it was a long shot, but hey. Might as well.
I'm just gonna kind of have to think about where I want to. Oh, oh, oh. Why am I doing the contract? I still have these fields to, oh my gosh. I got more fields to do, guys. What am I thinking? Okay, so. Oh, and we're going to have to pick stones up. Let's see. Plowed. So that's harvested. Okay. It's not saying it needs lime. Ow! These fields up here, I do think, need lime. Balboa? We have to take let's see Ooh, there's a fertilizing job barley to the grain mill where is the grain mill oh it's way up there is it okay maybe I'll wait until I can get a full trailer, I don't know. I had one more tractor. I really do. How much of a loan do I have? Because, boy, if I bought another... Oh, gosh. <clears throat> Our loan payment every month is what? loan interest 600 and well you know what if even if i doubled that we could get another 6r how much is this how much is a good like a tapped out 6r I know I said the next one I was going to get is this guy, but I need to sell the Massey that I have now to get that. Um, let me see what what's the max whoops what's the maximum loan I can get? Maybe f okay, five hundred thousand. All right. I 
I think I I think I have a strategy. So let's go here. Where is the ooh? Do I want a JCB fast track though? Ooh, 235. I don't need a front loader attacher. This guy could do all of the, let's see, 235. Oh man, I could get this instead of another John Deere. And I know I was wanting one. You guys know I was wanting one, but we've only got 239,000. Okay, this guy's going to be done in just a moment. So we're going to sell this one. Okay. Come on. I just want to get that other Massey Ferguson because I think I promised you guys I was going to buy, I was going to replace this one with the Massey. Just so I wouldn't go like super crazy with like all John Deere stuff. All right. I mean, we could sell it all muddy. I don't know if it's going to make any difference. I don't even know if it's going to make a difference if we repair it. Like, if we get it, you know, fully repaired. See, now somebody told me, I think somebody posted a comment in a video that like, okay, if I sell it from here, now what do we have? We've got that. I don't have that, so I can't use that. Ooh, we actually might be able to use that. But if I try to sell it from here, I'm only going to get $43,459 for it. Ah! I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually repair it. I'm not going to do the paint job because that's going to be ridiculously expensive. But at least I'll repair everything. gonna cost us two grand to repair so if I look at that 45 so that that did kind of give us our money but let's see hold on see if I sell it here do I really want to sell this vehicle fifty thousand hmm. dollars so if I sell it from here it's gonna give us 45,000. So this is this must be what he was talking about. So if we come over here and we sell the vehicle, it's gonna give us 50,000. Yeah, okay, so we, we did, so that, it, that's right. Well, whoever whoever pointed that out, thank. I wanna send a big thank you to you um, because I didn't figure that out. All right, so, all right, so we're gonna do Okay, so 147,000 is going to leave us with right around 200 and, oh man, do I want a front loader? No. Plus 
plus a thousand bucks for narrow tires. That's 148,000. And we've got 239,000, which I think is not enough. Let's see, let's get the rest of this crop off of this field there. Uh oh. I don't know if this crop, this little bit is going to make any difference or not. No, it's not going to make a big difference. Well, here we go. Now what I am going to need to do, because we have a fertilization job, is I need to buy two big bags of fertilizer. And I don't have my uh, front, lo or front weight here. Uh, let's go ahead and accept that job. Where's field 56? Oh, right across the road. <laughs> well, then we won't have to go very far at all. Good. So I finally have a tractor. This, These are the narrow tires, though they don't really look very narrow. But... I'll take it for what it is. Let's zoom out a little bit. And I'll go ahead and hire the worker for this. Oh, nice. Okay, so I have to go, I have to take this up here. So I guess I'm just gonna set him the destination there. I'm gonna guess he's gonna go this way. <gasps> oh, we, I'm absolutely wrong. Okay, so he's probably, he's gonna go up like this. All right. I think this way might have been a little quicker, but I don't know, maybe not. Ooh, I like how this, I like how this one sounds. I guess there's the air vents for the air conditioning that we didn't buy because I don't see the actual little vent holes in them. So maybe we just have to get a fan. Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's take this guy back to our farm and we're gonna start um, harvesting our the rest of our grain because I wanna get that done in this episode. We've already been going about an hour. Well, about 50 minutes or so, 53 minutes maybe. Maybe 54 or 55 minutes, I don't know. But we'll get our stuff done in this episode, I promise. I guess worst, absolute worst case scenario, we can always sell all of the um, the straw we picked up. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot about this field. Yeah, this is all my canola. We'll probably be able to harvest all this and not even... Like, not even 
fill up the grain tank. So I'm gonna hire the worker here. We'll see, kind of see how he does. Okay, he's doing good. Now, when this job is done, all right, you're fired. You're fired. Oh, is he gonna go down through here? This, I, I finally figured out why this little causeway is here. It's so that you could do that if you had, you know, like a big combine or other piece of equipment. Contract on field 56 is finished. Which one is 56? I think this is 56. Yeah, so let's go ahead. We're gonna collect that. And we just have to go right up there. It will be such a relief to have another uh, another tractor on the field that can actually do work, you know what I mean? And I'm just gonna go ahead and sell, ooh, I don't know, let's see, let's see. Oh, hi. I'm gonna get it down to 10% and then I'm gonna stop. So we got another 3,800 and something maybe. Um, so that job is complete. I still don't think we've got enough for that John Deere like ta to tap it out. Let's look, let's look. Where's my 6R series? So if I do engine setup, I don't need the front loader attacher. So if I did, 45, no, I got enough. Just with the standard tires on there, I don't necessarily need wheel weights. Let's see, wheel weights. Oh my gosh, we are literally like right on it. Let's not do wheel weights for right now. And I'm gonna buy this one, yes. And we did get the front loader attacher. Oh, we are so poor. $1,326 left in our bank account. <laughs> Again, worst case scenario, you know, we can return the, uh, let's see. I wanna accept this contract. That's gonna be field number 63, which is gonna be right down here. Okay. Um, so that's gonna be the only job that we're gonna have for right now. Uh, let's set his destination back home. Let's go pick up our new guy. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so confused as to where I'm at right now. I think we have to drive through. We've got to drive through the water. Hopefully we'll get some more uh, fertilizing jobs. Oh, I can put this guy on the uh, rocker, the rock remover, re removal, or. Or I can put the, I can put him on there too, for that matter. Um. Yeah.
The other thing that I think I need to do before we cultivate is lime, right? So we're going to have to get the... Uh, what is it? The mulcher? Man, this game is... I, 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 <clears throat> the one thing that I... It's not really a love-hate kind of... Oh, gosh. The one thing that's kind of like a love-hate relationship is to get your maximum yields, you got to do a lot of work. Um, let's look at the field. Okay. So this doesn't seem to need to need lime. That one needs to be rolled. I don't see... 51 is the only field that needs lime, I guess. And nobody needs plowing. Good. Okay. So he's fully fertilized. He's not fully fertilized. We could go and run the fertilizer over on him. Get, at least get this guy back doing something. AI worker has completed the task. So that's either the harvester or the combine. No, no. Well, the harvester and the combine is the same thing. The harvester slash combine or the trailer coming back. Yeah, I can see the trailer up through the trees way up there. So he is back. So we'll pick up the mulcher with this guy. And we'll start march, mulching field 49 just to get that done. I should have bought another front weight. Well, let's see how this guy's doing. Looks like he didn't get all of the... Looks like he didn't get everything, so we're going to have to... Oh, oh, okay. Guess it wasn't for lack of trying. Just think, just think about how much grass, silage grass is right there. And just think about how many of those bales we're gonna have come December and how much money that's gonna be. Uh, mega hint, it's gonna be a lot, just saying.
All right. All right, go do your thing. Okay, he's just gonna be mulching at 11 miles per hour just like the other guy was. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, let's unhire the worker because I've gotta offload these stones. Now, why is the fertilizer guy coming back over here? I don't get it. No, he's just driving all over the place. See, I don't think he knows what he's... I don't think he knows exactly what he's doing. AI worker F has completed their task. See, yeah, I think that's... I think that's him. I do believe that is him. All right. Let's hire the worker... Okay, we got this guy. So we kind of have a little bit of a problem. Oh, let's see. Okay, he's got the front weight. I would kind of like a little bit of money um, so we could buy seed and stuff. Uh, the only thing... four sixty nine at the animal dealer. Let's go to the animal dealer. <laughs> I want to get there top speed. Coming back, I don't need to be top speed, but we'll see. See, I think we're going to get like 1700 per bale. And we're going to be doing we're going to be needing to do a lot of jobs today in order to pay, well, maybe pay a little bit of the loan back, but we're going to have loan payments and lease payments and things like that. Okay, AI worker G has completed his task. I don't know which worker that is. Larson's Loyal Livestock. Yeah, 1700 bucks. Not a lot. And we're going to have to... Let's see, wait. gonna set his destination there and we're gonna enter this guy oh really I'm a little bit surprised that he missed this right here No, 
another worker who's completed his task? Ah! Sorry. And we still don't even have a full... A full grain tank. Alright, so this is canola, right? When is the... When is the good season for canola? November, okay. What about soybeans? <gasps> we want to be selling soybeans right now. What the heck? Why is he going this way? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know what? I bet this I bet this tool is designed to go like north to south. So regardless of where I start it, it's it's always gonna go back that way. So let's move it up here. Well that wasted a bunch of time. Alright, hire worker. Alright. Whoops. Okay, finally has a nearly full grain tank, so that's good. That means we're almost done. So we have, no, no, soybeans. All right, so again, we're in July, so we wanna sell soybeans. Current prices, at, obviously at Goldcrest Valley. <laughs> so if we sell this, we're gonna have plenty of money. hit this and then we're gonna just set our destination like right here and then I want to be yeah he didn't even really give it a give it the old college try here so we're gonna have to do this for him If you really want to save money on fertilizer, you can do this. Not even joking. Huh, I wonder what that little spot on the field is. Okay. So, field 51 is fully fertilized. Field 51 is fully fertilized. Sounds like a song. All right. Oh man, that's like tearing up the grass. Oh, I do not want. See how it's tearing up the grass on the side of the field there? Ouch. And I just did see we got the full grain tank on our combine there, so. Okay. 
think we got just a little bit more mulching to do. Right there. Okay. That field is mulched. So let's move on to the small one here. So I'm just going to back him over. We'll manually offload. Okay. Oh, shoot. Um, okay, so we rented the train. Oh gosh. He was full of rocks. Okay, so we need to get this guy back home. I don't know if he'll find his way back from here, but hopefully he will. Oh, he's moving, that's a plus. All right. Now this little guy, let's see if, let's, let's get him back working on rocks, de-rocking, whatever, rock picking, picking of the rocks. Uh, let's see, I don't remember, I think I picked it up way down here. Yeah, I can see the t where the tracks drive off. Okay, he's finished. Just finish this field out. Only downside is this episode is starting to run really long, and I've been noticing my Mac has been really having trouble dealing with these long episodes. I never, I never had those problems with my iMac. Uh, previously. Uh oh. Stop the bombs! Let's see why. No. Open cover in. Okay. <laughs> 
soybeans. Okay, full. Yes. 23,961. All right, so that was worth it. Okay, so he's got this duty. It's going to take a little while to get used to this new Massey Ferguson. Okay. Cruise control on. And we'll just have him drive right over. I think that's the, I think that's the drop off there. All right. So this guy. Let's, whoops. Let's pick him up. Alright, so we're going to have to go across, we're going to have to do the other field. How fast will we get it done? You know what I really feel like planting? I really feel like planting soybeans. I just don't know. Let's see. When do soybeans, when do we plant soybeans? That's not going to tell us. Soybeans. So that, okay. So April to November. So that's why the soybean prices are so high right here in the middle. Because that's going to be like when, you know, this, this area in here is when they're not going to be very plentiful. Hmm. Well, we're going to we're going to have to have another uh field devoted to that, I guess. Um any other jobs pop up? So we got this harvesting job field 63. That's going to be a pretty easy one. We'll deal with that in the next episode. Um okay, this guy is clearly done. Okay. $138, all right. Uh-oh, AI worker D is blocked by an object. Don't block the D, oh gosh. Let's put him, let's see, we're going to set his destination like right there. Um, and then, okay, that's worker D. Aha.
Where's my other tractor? So I think what I'll do, we'll plant grass on th this field and the others um, in the next episode. We'll get that done. We'll get these other harvesting jobs finished. AI worker E. Oh, probably those guys over there. Man, I tell you what, I like this new Massey Ferguson. He's much faster. Much, like, what was the what was the top speed on the old one? Like 25 miles an hour or something like that? Yeah, this guy's lots faster. Lots, lots. And we'll just finish this up really quick. Turn that on. And we have picked up all the rocks on that field. So we still have more to go. We got that one over there. Uh, we got a lot to do, guys. I kind of think the whole idea of the rock picking, while I do see it, I think it's kind of silly, and I, I kind of think they missed the mark on this. I think they should make it a little bit more random. Maybe... Um, only have certain parts of the field require rock picking. Um, I guess I might as well leave him over here because we're going to have to um, cultivate this field, the other fields. Uh, let's see. Did we get... Oh, we haven't even gotten this done. Good thing I checked. Since we're going to have so many grass fields, I don't think it's going to be nearly as important to um, to worry too much about the grass on the you know non fields, I guess, the non field areas. See, we'll go ahead and hire him. And uh, looks like we're going to be done here. With the harvest. We got uh, 5,121. Is it worth it? No, no, no. All right, so that's our second major um, harvest there. We'll come back in the next episode. We'll, we'll plant grass. We'll see what other jobs are going to be available. Hopefully, there'll be uh, plenty of jobs. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Um, yeah, canola, 12,476. Uh, we've got this uh, active harvesting job. And again, we'll come back for that in the next episode. And um, we will see you then, or I will see you then. So, guys and gals, thank you so much for hanging out with me once again playing some Farming Simulator 22. As always, do not forget...
to hit that like button. It helps me out tremendously. Please subscribe, leave comments. Again, if you love the Toby Eye Tracker, use my affiliate link down in the video description. And when you check out, use code BRADM73 to save yourself an extra 5% off your price of the Toby Eye Tracker. And you will have my eternal gratitude. But yeah, we'll see you very soon for another episode of Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all so much for watching again, and I'll see you next time. I'm BRADM73. Bye for now.